Nokia keeps taking the spotlight for bringing awesome hardware, the best of Google, and aggressive price points for all markets. And MWC 2019 is no exception. I mean, the company is even touting they've been crowned number one at feature phones around the world. Reporting from New York City and Barcelona, I'm Jaime Rivera with Jules Wong Editing, and let's go hands on. At the most affordable tier, Nokia is back with another feature phone, now dubbed the Nokia 210. The idea here is to make the internet more accessible with the Opera Mini browser and Nokia's proprietary software. Java apps are supported, allowing you to download music and certain game loft games. It has a polycarbonate body in different colors and includes a 2.4-inch QVGA display, a near VGA camera, dual SIM, and a removable 1,020 mAh battery that Nokia claims can go for a full month. As for smartphones, the company showed us their new Nokia One Plus, which plans to ease the transition for users between feature phones and smartphones. It has a full removable back that reminds us of the old HTC Titan, where the whole external body is a cover, and it comes in this interesting 3D nano pattern technology in different colors for a more sophisticated look. It brings a 5.45-inch IPS LCD, a WVGA+, a MediaTek processor, 1GB of RAM, 8 or 16 gigs of storage, an 8-megapixel camera with a 5-megapixel front-facing shooter, and a 2500mAh battery. The major story here is that it runs Android Pie Go Edition, with applications being smaller and more efficient, and it starts at just 89 euros in red, blue, or black. The next two offerings focus a lot on the Google Assistant as, by 2020, Comscore believes that 50% of searches will be voice-enabled. As such, both devices have a dedicated Google Assistant button and even include an AI face unlock that helps you unlock the phone with a voice command once the device detects that you're holding it. The Nokia 3.2 has a high-gloss polycarbonate body with a 6.26-inch display at HD Plus resolution and a notch. There's a Snapdragon 429 processor, 2 or 3 gigs of RAM, 16 or 32 gigs of storage, a 13-megapixel camera at the back, and a 5-megapixel front-facing shooter. Android 9 Pie 1 Edition is here with zero bloat. It's got cool accents like a notification light integrated into the power button and will retail for just 129 euros. Last, we have the Nokia 4.2, which they call their new all-affordable flagship experience. This has a polycarbonate frame with die-cast metal inside for added rigidity that also includes a fingerprint scanner in the back and a notification accent in the power button. It's got a 5.71-inch HD Plus display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 439, 2 or 3 gigs of RAM, 16 or 32 gigs of storage, and a 3000 mAh battery. It has a 13 megapixel main camera with a 2 megapixel depth sensor in the back, and color options range from pink sand and black, with a retail value of just 169 euros. This phone in particular is actually more of the looker for me. So yes, this is Nokia at their entry level. Let us know what you think about these products in the comments down below, and while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.